Ah, Bone Mass was at one point voted the hardest boss in the game. He is scary, has a lot of health and poisonous. Just horrifying. Are you ready for it? Let's do it. Hello, how are you doing? My name is Nub Queen and welcome back to Bellham. We are finally getting to Bone Mass, the third boss in the game today. We have a lot to prepare. First, the armors. If this is our first time finding Bone Mass, the highest armor we could probably prepare for is Iron Gears, which is okay because armor might be important to fight Bone Mass, it is actually not as important as the falling stuff we're going to talk about. So go ahead and wear our Iron Gear and move on. As for weapons, a few things we need to know. Bone Mass is kind of immune to piercing and bladed weapons. So sword, knives, bow and arrow will be quite useless. Instead, we will prepare weapons that cause blunt damage, like maze, hammer, etc. An iron sledge or the stack breaker will be way more useful in this case, but still bring bow and arrow with us as usual. Then we need to prepare quite a bit of food, and we're talking about strong foods. Any food that contains meat usually is a very good choice, like cooked meat, sausages, bring some stew as well. During the battle, we want to make sure we are always having a full belly, and this will heal us faster. Next, the most important thing, in my opinion, when fighting bone mass is the potions. We need to, and this is a must-have, is the poison resistance potion. And the next thing that's necessary is the healing potions, either minor or medium. Lastly, the stamina potions. At least six bottles each. Since bone mass main attack is poison, we need to mitigate this as much as we can or else we will die so quickly like we don't believe. We already made some poison resistance potion in the last episode, so I have some ready to go. If not, go ahead and make some now. We will wait. <laughs> While we wait for some of you to make potions, let's talk about how to summon him. We should already have the summon location on our map by now, so if we are ready, bring 10 withered bones with us. This is his sacrifice. Now head to the summon location. Before we go in for the fight, as usual, we can make a portal somewhere so we can come back if we die, or make a small room and put a chest with extra food and potion stuff just in case. We can see a giant skull. That's where we put the sacrifice to summon him. We can kind of try to fix the area a bit maybe, like clear some trees, flatten some ground so we can avoid disgusting leeches or get stuck in the swampy water. Are we ready? We're ready. Let's summon him now. Let me tell you all about Bomas and his attacks, which he has three. The first one is a slow wipe by his hand. Um, this deals very heavy damage, but since he is a huge blob, he is quite slow. So this one will be fairly easy to dodge. Second one is he will throw blobs at us. This attack takes a while to activate, so we should be able to get several hits in before he starts throwing blobs at us. We also want to get rid of the blobs as quickly as possible, or else they will become a huge problem later on. His last attack is that he will puke and unleash poison all around himself. This attack is also slow, but it does hurt. Even if we have the poison resistance potion, it still hurts. So we have to judge the situation and decide when we're going to attack or we're going to back off. When fighting bone mass, make sure to stay on dry land for the most part because getting stuck in the water is definitely not fun. Bone mass has a lot of health. We need to take things slow and avoid getting too close, especially when we are low on health. Make sure to watch out for poison resistant timer, drink health potion when we need to. Go in for damage when he is preparing to throw the blobs. Make sure to keep damaging him, even if it's a small damage like using a bow and arrow when we're far away from him because he will start healing himself up if he stops taking damage for a while. So we want to keep on damaging him, even if it's a little bit. 
We can also use our bow and arrow to get his attention if he is getting away or going to places that we don't want him to go. This is going to be a long fight, probably the longest one that we've been to. So take our time, it's all good. After this painful fight, we have taken him down. Woohoo! Once he dies, he will drop the bone mass trophy, which we are going to hang at the Forsaken Power Area for a new resistance power, and he will also drop a wishbone. This is how we are going to find our silver. Now that we have conquered the swamp biome, congratulations! We will be talking about the mountain biomes next. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the mountains. Bye!